Morning. <laughs> Morning. I was looking, I think I have a long ear hair in there. Oh my gosh. My hair looks even worse on camera than it does in real life. We're in the drive-thru at Tim Hortons. Um, we're gonna get the baby a donut. This is actually my first time through a drive-thru in over a month. I think I haven't ordered anything from a drive-thru. Really? Yeah. You've ordered enough off Amazon. Yep. <laughs> You're welcome, Amazon. You see? You wanna say hi? They wanna see if they can understand what you're saying. Say hello. Those strawberry cheesecake donuts. We have to go pick up Kyle's truck at his work because he wants to, what are you doing? Park it in the garage, in the driveway Corner. and drop your snowmobile off. Yeah, and put the cover on it. Put the cover on it, which you also ordered from Amazon. Or yeah. From Amazon? I did. So, Necessities, yeah. though. We're not really sure what we're doing today. It's 40 degrees out, which is nice, and it's not super windy, so it's actually fairly warm. Yeah, it might be a decent day to have a fire in the backyard. And yeah. Maybe have some people over six feet away. <laughs> yeah, so that's Just what today holds. I feel like my vlogs are just like so repetitive right now because that's life. It's just what life we're doing. In the, life in the corn. In the corn. Yeah. You ever see the movie uh, Children of the Corn? Yeah. So everyone that's quarantined, they're all making babies, they're going to be children of the corn. <laughs> Did you just make that up? No, I saw it. I saw it. This morning, what did we have for breakfast? We had eggs. You made an egg scramble. It had turkey, beans, peppers. Cheese. Cheese. Baby ate a lot and spinach. of it. We were like, spinach. wow, oh, spinach. Yeah, he was eating like spoonfuls of it, which was great. These are like, these make the world pink. Oh, wow, you look nice. Those are TTs. I know. <laughs> And then I did a little workout. I'll try to remember to put it down below. But I did 10 minutes on the elliptical, which are elliptical. I don't know if I've told you guys. I cannot figure out. I have the resistance on the lowest setting, but it's still so high. Like 10 minutes on the elliptical literally has me so out of breath and fatigued. Like I did 10 minutes on the elliptical, the lowest resistance. And then I did um, just like a 10 minute arm workout, but I knew the boys were gonna be getting back from their walk soon, so I like threw my hair up in a bun and did my makeup really quick. I'm trying to eat a little bit better these I days. need to. You no, know? no, you eat, now's the time for you to eat. No, because, no, be, that's not true. I sometimes, mean, yes, sometimes eat. Sometimes counter. Oh, right, my apologies about that. Wait, what can we get for you this nope. morning? Nope. Can we just have uh, an assorted mix of the Timbits? 10, 20, or 40? 10's fine, please. That's it. 280. Okay, thanks. Huh? I don't think she really liked you that much. She will once she sees me. Mm -hmm. I also want a donut and I want like a coffee and I want. Why didn't you get a coffee? I also want a Bloody Mary with bacon and shrimp and salmon, caviar, and I feel fancy today. That sounds disgusting. This lighting. <laughs> Okay, flattering. Look like a fish when you do that. Mm. Or a foot. Money. I mean, baby, money. <sighs> we just got back um, from getting Kyle's plow and stuff, but I'm like chilly. I feel like I want it to be warm so badly that I keep putting stuff on that's for like spring weather and then I'm freezing. So <sighs> we're just not there yet. I'm also in like a funk today. I don't know why. I feel like I wasn't this, no I was this morning too. I just kind of feel like, which is surprising because it's a weekend and I should be like super excited that I'm not like home alone all day. But I'm just kind of like, I'm gonna throw a hoodie on. I think I hear the baby coming in. So I'm gonna change really quick, getting something comfy and warmer.
baby's been down for like an hour. Um, since we're living in an apartment right now, there's someone living above us. And she's like moving a bunch of stuff in right now. So I've just been having a ton of anxiety because it's really loud. And I'm just having anxiety that the baby is not going to get the rest that he needs. Um, he hasn't woken up or made a peep yet, but it's just like one of those things. He usually sleeps for like two hours. Um, and if he doesn't, the rest of our day is just like a complete mess because he just doesn't, he didn't get the rest he needs. So I'm like trying to just tell myself I can't control it. It is what it is, but I hate that feeling. I hate like feeling super anxious that like every noise you hear, you're like, oh my gosh, does that just wake him up? And they're like moving something right above his room. It's just like really, really loud, but it's good for him to get used to the noise as well because you know, we have a baby arriving in less than three months. So um, I just warmed up some adamame. This is left over from dinner last night. And I'm just gonna have some crackers and hummus. That, um, my shake that I made, I'm still like, working on that. And I'm working on my water. So I'm not super hungry, but I'm like feeling a little nauseous. Like maybe I need um, actual food. So I'm gonna eat some of that and then I'll probably fold some laundry. But I just did some like computer work and um, placed some orders on some things that we needed for the house. So we wanna organize our cars a little bit today. Kyle just surprised me and told me that he got me a car detailing for my birthday. He did so much for my birthday. like. He always does way too much, but yeah, he just told me he did a car detailing, which is great because I have goldfish and just like crap all through my car, like all through my car. So I'm really excited, but I do still want to like go through my car and just organize some stuff. Um, we got some little like organizers to go on the back of our seats, one for his truck and one for my car. So I just kind of want to stock that up, some like diapers, wipes, things like that in there just to have it ready. We may go to my mom's for dinner. We are social distancing. Um, we really like have not seen anybody. Knox and I have not been out in public in four weeks with the one exception that I had to go to a doctor's appointment. That was my first time out in public and it was like really weird, but um, we might go have a cookout at my mom's and we'll just be like outside so it's not like super high risk or <clears throat> dangerous or anything and it's easier to stay like far apart when you're outside and all of that. So we'll probably do that later, but you wanna show them your pillow? This was a pillow that we found down in his um, like packed up boxes <laughs> and he really likes it. Did you have a good nap? Oh, comfy babe. Uh, <laughs> hi. Hi. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You had dreams about Dada? What was Daddy doing in your dreams? <coughs> he was driving a snowmobile? Yeah. Was he going fast? <coughs> it scared you? Yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mama. Mama was riding it too? Yeah. Was Braxton with us? Yeah. He was? What? And Baby was with us? Yeah. Baby L? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet, honey. I like that name. <laughs> wow, was going really fast on the snowmobile. Mama. Mama was driving? Yeah. Oh, she's a crazy driver. Yeah. Brax was driving? Oh, <laughs> that's silly. Oh, shoot. He's something else right now. I got it. Daddy's stuff? Yeah, Daddy should be back soon. I should. Huh? I should. You heard something? Yeah. What, upstairs? Do you want anything to eat? Yeah. Hmm. Mm. You can do some rice? Or peanut butter and fluff? Or some sausage? Hmm? Okay. This is a bear and that's a moose. Ah. Yeah, rah, that's what the bear says. Rah. He's got a butt. Yeah. He's literally still in his pajamas. We usually, do, like, since we've been staying home, I don't take him out of his pajamas until he has his first nap because there's really no point. Uh. He's trying to kick my tripod. So we're just waiting for Daddy to get home. Yeah. Mason's outside? He's Mace. Yeah. And Brett.
Okay, so it's now Sunday and I just washed my hair. The baby just went down for a nap. He showered with me and stuff. Kyle just hopped in the shower. Um, but we went for a really long walk this morning. We walked for like almost two miles and we let the baby walk like by himself. We didn't bring the stroller or anything. So it took so long. Like we were easily walking for like an hour. Um, I ended up doing like lunges and squats along the way because he was walking, obviously walked so much slower than us. So I was able to like lunge next to him. So I did like a bunch of lunges, a bunch of jump squats and squats and kind of like got my workout in as we walked. It was actually really fun. We had breakfast when we first woke up and we've just had like a really chill, nice morning. Um, with the quarantine and everything, I've only been washing my hair once a week, which actually I pretty much only wash my hair once a week anyway. Um, but yeah, just with my pregnancy, my hair has been really dry and my skin's been really dry. So I've been able to like easily get away with not washing it for like seven days. So um, I only wash it on like Sundays or Saturdays. Today I washed it. I have to blow dry my hair right now, which I hadn't thought about because I don't have a plug-in actually. There's one right behind this mirror. For my blow dryer, I just use the Next Generation. This is Hot Tools um, Next Generation blow dryer. I actually got this at Christmas Tree Shop for $14.99 one time. Like so random, such a random find, but I do love it and I've had it forever now. So um, the reason I blow dry and curl my hair is because, or like style it, is because if I don't, it's just like really hard to manage throughout the week. If I style it once a week, I can sleep on my curls and it's easy to like throw up in a bun or a ponytail or something. It's just a lot more manageable um, than if I don't style it at all. Also with this pregnancy, I have some really funky like texture going on. I don't know if you guys can see that. I've posted it on Instagram a few times, but once this dries, cause this is like wet as well, it will all crimp up like that. Obviously if you're trying to like grow your hair or steer clear, of heat and products during this quarantine i think that is super smart while we're home just to like do minimal minimal stuff to your hair it's a great opportunity to do so okay wow i look large and in charge so i just blow dry my hair like upside down i do it really simple and then i'm gonna throw some curls in. all right another sweatshirt it is different day different sweatshirt i'm gonna throw some curls in my hair Okay, so really quickly, I wanted to talk about my hair care products. So for shampoo and conditioner, the ones I generally use are the Not Your Mother's Blonde Moment Treatment Shampoo and Conditioner. So um, I was able to order the shampoo off of Walmart. That was like the cheapest, most affordable place I could find to order it right now since I'm not going like into stores and stuff. Um, the conditioner I had left over, but I love this stuff. It's like around... $8 a bottle or something like that. It's super, super affordable. I find that it tones my hair really nicely and it gives it that like ashy kind of look without turning my hair purple. So um, my hair is a little bit warmer than it has been like in the past. Um, so I'm working on toning it because I like mine that really like white um, ash blonde. So yeah, but I definitely don't like it like grayish or purple. So there's a fine line there and I just find that this shampoo and conditioner really does that for me. Also with the shampoo, I scrub it in really good and then I let it sit usually for three to five minutes. So it's not necessarily recommended to do that. Um, that's just what I do, but I would try just washing and rinsing first to make sure that it's not going to turn your hair purple. You never know how your hair is gonna respond to something. Um, if I am washing my hair after like a week long of um, 
putting you know hairspray in it and dry shampoo and texture spray and like using um, different products and things then I will use this herbal essence black detox charcoal shampoo um, this I will usually wash before um, using my blonde moment shampoo so I'll wash it with this scrub at my root get all the junk out really really good and clean and then I will throw a little bit of this in just to tone my hair so yeah I love this stuff again affordable and I do find that it really like I feel like just takes all the crap out of my hair it truly is like a detox this is recommended to me by a friend and I have loved it ever since then once I get out of the shower I brush through my hair um, I use the agave healing oil oil treatment I love this stuff and I love this brand I love their lotion um, but it just literally the best smelling hair product ever I have been using this for over a year now and I just swear by it I actually am only down to like here and I use it every time I wash my hair granted I only wash my hair once a week but I use two pumps of this rub it in between my hands really really good warm it up and then I run it through my ends and then once most of the product is off of my hands I'll just run whatever's left kind of through the rest of my hair and I just find it makes it really silky it mends like my split ends and it just makes your hair smell and feel delicious now that I've curled my hair and I actually curled it a little bit more than I normally do um, just for like a different a different look I don't know um, I will go in lately I've been using the collab dry shampoo this is in tropical fragrance I believe I got this at Target it was just a really affordable um, option so I like to spray this just around my face even though I just washed my hair and I will tell you why so I just do it in the spots that are most likely to get greasy fast so by doing this in your clean hair it will help prevent your hair from getting oily instead of allowing it to get oily and then trying to um, soak up oil or like cover it up so I just like to do it ahead of time I generally don't really need any more dry shampoo throughout the week that has been a trick for me is if I use it first in my clean hair one it gives my clean hair a little bit more texture um, but two it prevents the oil from even showing rather than like I said trying to combat it when it becomes oily I have a cowlick back here that <laughs> I cannot I literally cannot get rid of I don't know what's going on back there pregnancy for texture spray um, I haven't been using this a ton since we're on quarantine just to keep the products on my hair minimal um, but what I'll do with this if I am going to use it oh I gotta tell you what the product is this is the CGX NYC salon graphics the do-it-all three-in-one dry texture spray um, again I think this is from Target I was using the Kristen s1 I love that one it's in like a black bottle but it's around $15 for the bottle and I go through that bottle so quickly like I don't know what it is there just doesn't seem to be much product in there and I was going through it a lot so I wanted to try a less um, expensive product and I do really like this one as well so I just kind of lift my hair up and spray it like like that do it to the other side And then I do it to the back. Okay, so as you can see, that gives your hair volume. It separates everything. It gives it, um, you know, some more texture. And I have, like, super silky, like, fluffy hair to begin with. So when it's really clean, it just is, like, I don't know, needs some texture. So I love that. I'll just do a little bit of that today. And then for hairspray, I've been using the Pantene Airspray Alcohol-Free Hairspray. It's brushable, flexible control at a three level um, I like this I'm not like stuck on it or anything I do like it I think it's okay yeah it's just kind of like what I'm using I'm not super picky with my hairspray to begin with but I'm just gonna do a little just for fun just for the video okay so those are like all the products I would use on my hair like a full like start to finish Thing. so the rest of the week I literally don't put anything in my hair unless I need a little bit of dry shampoo I don't wash my hair for seven days after this so that's that I hope that was helpful to you guys um, I'll try to link everything down below if I can find a place where you can order all the product okay so now I have some PR that I want to share with you guys so I'm gonna get that like pulled over and set up I need to go grab my water and I'll be right back Now my, I'm probably going to play with my hair a ton right now.
Okay, so there's a few PR things that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, we recently got sent these sunglasses. So they sent me two pairs and Kyle a pair as well. These are by the brand Sohos, I think is how you say it. It's S-O-J-O-S. -O -O um, and these are really, really nice. Um, and it comes with this really pretty case as well. I already opened these up, so I've kind of like probably messed up the packaging. It comes with a little cleaning wipe in this really nice, everything's like matte black um, packaging, which just looks really sharp. Um, and then this is the case that it comes in. It's like a magnetic close. These ones are for me. I will link these down below, and I also have a coupon code for, I believe, 15% off that I will put on the screen and down below as well. But these are so cool. These are different than something I would normally order. I'm surprised that I picked out this color. Um, I can't remember, maybe they ran out of stock in the other color, but normally I would do more warm tone or gold. And these are like silver, black, and gray, but I feel like it's good, get me out of my comfort zone. But look how cute, guys. They feel really, really nice. I love the way they look and I just, yeah, I think they're really nice sunglasses. I feel like every spring, summer, I'm like, oh, I need some new sunglasses. Yeah, I think it's always nice to have like a fresh new pair for the spring and summer. Let's see what these next ones are. So let's see. Yeah, so these ones are his. I'll kind of put them on for you. I'll put them on so you guys can kind of see what they look like. But these, yeah, are men's sunglasses. So you can see they're like a little bit wider, but they're still like just really nice quality. These ones are like stretchy and like bendy which i think will be good for him because he tends to break his sunglasses i feel like these would just be nice to bring like camping or anything like that where you might have to pack them up they're just like very flexible these are so cute these are like more of um i feel like just a good classic pair of sunglasses these are ones that i'll like wear all the time these are really pretty though they have this like detailing on the side um and the quality just feels like I don't know it just feels really nice so yeah these are more like my color style i like this like extra little like i don't know kind of flare at the top and they're just super comfortable on my face and they fit really well so so again if you're interested in checking them out i will leave a coupon code down below for you guys the next i'm just going to open up my boxy charm so um you guys if you watch my channel you know that i've gotten boxy charm forever like literally probably since i started my channel i got two boxes i'm a little bit confused uh as to what is what but i'm going to open them both and just share what we got yeah so this month's box was festival vibes i'll also have a coupon link down below to get you i believe five dollars off but boxy charm is awesome because you get five full-size products for 25 dollars a month it's a subscription so um you can like out your subscription at any time there's like no penalty or anything like that I do find that it's worth it um the fact that you get full-size products and all the products in the box are usually worth around 200 like at total 200 dollars or the box is worth 200 dollars so even if you only love and use two or three items out of each box and you end up gifting or giving away um one or two of the other items i still feel like it's so worth it there's like certain serums and face creams and I mean mascaras brow gels and things that have been like fifty dollars or more that i would never be able to like treat myself with that i get in my boxycharm and i fall in love with the products and i get to use them as like a really nice treat at this point i do work with the company so luckily i get it in pr now but i was paying for my boxycharm boxes myself all the way up until like less than a year ago so the first thing in the box that we got this month is the pore professional pore primer by benefit so if you guys like a silicone like slippery silky uh primer you would probably love this i hate primers like that i hate them they're not for my skin they ball up they don't sink in and yeah i just don't like them i was just talking with two girlfriends yesterday about primers and they both like silicone primers like this one of them is actually using this right now because she recently signed up for boxycharm and she is like oh my gosh the primer that they sent is the best thing that i've ever put on my skin so i'm actually going to give this to her because i tried it yesterday i was like you know what i will try it no just not for me but i literally know a handful of people right off the top of my head that love and use this so i'm going to set this aside for her but um this retails for 32 dollars. so already in one product you got this for 25 dollars, and i still have some products in my box so next one in here is the iconic london illuminator wow this is 41 dollars, guys so it is this little illuminator um it says shake well before use to be honest, it looks like nail polish. It's so 
intense. So here's just a little drop here, guys. Whoa. Um, it feels very, very lightweight. It actually almost feels like an oil into like a powdery cream feeling. Does that make sense? Um, it's a really pretty color though. Like this would be a really pretty highlighter. Should I pop a little on? Whoa. That was literally what was left over on my finger. So this side compared to that side. I have highlighter on obviously because I have my makeup on. But that really intensifies it. That's really pretty. You feel like you would never have to buy highlighter ever again. Like this would last your whole life time. <laughs> because you like need none at all that's really pretty though I actually really like this it just says original so I wonder if this is like the original shade but yeah I feel like you could really work with this this might be good as um, like an eyeshadow base as well if it doesn't crease really wanted to go at it you could probably drop some of this in your foundation and have a really glowy look but I like that it's not like sparkly it's just like very sheen and nice the next thing I see in here is this lavish five-piece neon eyeshadow brush collection. This retails for $29.99, so all the products so far are well over the price of the box. So yeah, you get this little eye brush set. It's got a bunch of different um, kind of shapes and shapes that you would need to create um, all different eye looks. These feel really, really nice too. Um, so that's just kind of fun. Next thing in here, what is this? This is the Illuminati Cosmetic Gel Paint Duo in Electric Pink and Blue. Whoa, so these are eyeliners in really fun colors. So again, like this isn't something that I would use, especially like as a mom. I just never do fun makeup anymore. But this would definitely be something that I'm sure I could find a friend that would use. Whoa, these are fun. Look how bright that is. And this is the blue one. I mean, who knows? It's kind of nice to have things like that around for like Halloween. That is fun. And then the last thing in here, this one I'm really excited about. This is the Zoella eyeshadow palette. I got the color Caramel Malang. I'm probably not saying that right. Like that's probably a word that I should know and I don't know it. In this really pretty packaging, I have a feeling I'm going to love this palette. Um, just based on the colors. Yes. Yes. Something. Wow, I'm really excited about this palette. So look at these colors. I love all these warm tones, that nice pop of pink. You've got some shimmers over here, a warm brown, um, and then your classic. Is this one? Yeah, those two are matte, but those are just like nice classic shades to have. So this is a palette I could totally see myself dipping into on a daily basis. I like to just kind of like mix a bunch of colors and then just like pop it on the outer third of my eye to give a little more dimension. And then sometimes I'll take like a little shimmer like one of these and just like pop it on the center of my lid and I'm good to go. So love this palette. I'm really excited about that. This retails for $28. Okay, so I also got a box. Now, I don't know if this is from last month. I'm going to be honest. I'm just not, I'm not sure. Um, we've moved multiple times in the past couple months and poor BoxyCharm is trying to keep up with where I'm at, but um, this got sent to my old address. So I don't know if I just got it late, but I'm just going to share what's in it. I also didn't get the little slip that comes with the box to tell me like what month it is and stuff but i'm just going to dive in and show you what i got so the first thing here is the sutra 19 millimeter mini ceramic curling iron with cooling foot. so this is cool oh my gosh how stinking cute is this it's a, literally a little mini wand that is really fun i like that light purple color that's really pretty the next thing in here is the living in color palette this looks like it could be a really fun palette just based on the packaging and everything. Let's see. So it's kind of like a thick box like. Okay, so these are fun. Um, I think the packaging is a lot for like what it is. Um, but the shadows look really pretty. If you're looking for like a really fun eyeshadow palette, these look like they'd be nice. You get some sparkly ones up here and then um, more like matte tones. But yeah, if you are more of like a colorful person, maybe this palette is for you. This Ooh, the next thing that we got are these tweezers. These look fun. I say ooh because we need a new pair of tweezers. Um, I bought some cheap ones when we were at Target um, like a month or two ago, and I just don't like them. I'm like, you know what? Tweezers are tweezers. You can't go wrong. No, you can go wrong. These are by um, Chella, and they have this really cute design, but I feel like that would also make it really easy to get at your eyebrows. 
so yeah i like that boxycharm sends you like products and tools and i don't know it just like is really well-rounded i feel like um the next thing in here is the vintage by jessica Lebenskind. i don't know how to say that i probably should know how to say that as well and this is in the color pink sequin so i'm not going to open this up because it is sparkly this is not something that i would wear although my mom might wear this but it's in really pretty packaging and it's in a really nice color. I just generally go for like more nudish orangey colors for me. But my mom would probably love this lip gloss. Mom, if you're watching it, text me. Let me know if you want my lip gloss. Okay, last thing in this box is this very clean makeup melting balm. I need this right now. Recently, I don't know why, like I'm not getting my mascara off well. And I'm really excited because I feel like I need something to melt my makeup off before I wash my face at night. But it's cute. It comes with this little spatula. Whoa. Oh, it smells like cherry cream. Like, if you don't like the scent of cherry, you wouldn't like this. If you do like the scent of cherry, this smells like something you could eat. Okay, so it's very thick consistency. I like that it sends this little paddle with it because that is definitely helpful. Um... Yum. Oh, wow. It like turns into almost like an oil. I don't want to say that because I feel like oil is like generally associated with, um, I don't know, being like a negative thing for your skin. But wow, I'm going to like this right now because I need the moisture and I need the melting effects. Gently massage over dry skin for eye makeup removal. Apply close to eyes. Rinse with warm water and wipe off with a damp cloth. I'm obsessed with the smell. I think it smells so nice. Today I am absolutely starving right now. I like feel like I can't even think straight. So I'm gonna go have some lunch and um, catch up on some emails and things like that. And then I'm not sure what we're doing with the rest of our day, but I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so we're at my mom's and the kids and everyone are like playing outside. Um, but I got this little car organizer in um, the mail. We got them off Amazon. We got one for Kyle's truck as well. I'll link them down below. Um, and I just wanted to organize it really quick. Whenever Kyle and like the boys are playing outside, I always like to like intentionally clean out my car, get some of the crap out and all that. So, um, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's just like a black little organizer, but it has all these different like pouches and oh, that's cool. This comes off. Sorry, this lighting is terrible guys. I'm going to kind of organize this and strap it to the back of my seat. So I had thrown a bunch of stuff in a basket that I thought would be good to have in the car. So I threw in a couple of books. I threw in um, a little car just for Knox to play in while he's in his car seat. Um, some baby lotion. Thought that would be good. I'm sure we'll come up with some more stuff that um, would be good once baby L is here. Uh, pack of wipes. A changing pad. A couple of swaddles. These are just good, I feel like, to wipe up messes. Like, especially with newborns, they spit up a lot. Um, so I like having those just for any spills that you might have. Some Hello Bello sanitizing, um, apple blossom hand sanitizer. I like just don't have words today. And a handful of diapers. We use the Hello Bello diapers. I've gotten a lot of questions about them lately. We do love them. Um, they have the cutest prints. I feel like I'm a sucker for their prints, but we have good luck with them. With Knox, they don't like give him a rash or anything like that. I'm not going to bother cleaning my car since Kyle got me a car detailing for my birthday. I don't know if I mentioned that. Um, but I'm not going to bother cleaning it, like, at all. So it's very messy, beware. I feel like stuff like this always fills up so fast. Um, because we're pretty much... Oh, after that. Oh, I also have some SPF that I'm going to slide in there somewhere because I feel like that is definitely something that you want to have on hand in the summer. Um, and you never want to be without, so... Knox will be thrilled that I just found this in the back of my car. I also just found a beauty blender half eaten. Real life right there. Hi, B. Hi, you didn't know I was here? <laughs> that is like the saddest thing ever. Knox was just running over to me, all excited, mama, and then he just wipes out and just smashes on the tarp. He didn't get his face, but his hands, like you could just hear the impact. And that just makes me sick. I hate that so much. Anyway, I'm pretty much done. That took me no time at all. This thing is like full. I'm not sure what I'm going to put in this one that comes off yet. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what the best thing to put in that would be. Okay, guys, look how dirty my car is. 
like, look how dirty my, <laughs> my car is. It's disgusting. Like, it's so overdue. Granted, right about now is when I would get in there with a vacuum, take his car seat out, like clean everything. I mean, it is like filthy. To be fair, since we've been on quarantine, we play in the car a lot. So we'll come in and like put music on and we'll snack and he just like crawls over the seats and we just play in here. So, but still, it's bad. Anyway, this is what it looks like on the back of the seat. It was really easy to just clip there. And then I clipped it around the bottom. Um, definitely fill it after you put it on. It <laughs> made it more difficult because it was weighted to clip that and everything, but I love it. It makes me just feel so much more organized and like prepared and yeah, I am just like obsessed. I ended up putting like his books and stuff up here in his little truck in there. Um, it also has like a little carabiner and then it's got these hooks on the bottom, which I'm, um, those must hook to the seat or something. I didn't read the directions, pretty typical. I'm not sure what those are used for, but yeah, I highly recommend this if you have been looking for something to organize your car good little quarantine project to make you feel productive. I like your snack. Uh, thank you. Oh, it's good. All right, we just got back, put baby to bed. We took a shower, got in our PJs. I feel like you weren't in my vlog even once. Were you in my vlog at all? No. It's because you were partying all weekend. You weren't even here. No, what'd you vlog about? Where was I? I vlogged all weekend. I don't know. I literally, I had knocks and racks more than you this whole weekend. I know, you were with what us all weekend. What was your vlog about? Not you. <laughs> I did vlog us in the car yesterday when we went and got a donut with Knox. Oh, yeah. Mm. Shelly, if you're watching this, Emily's mom made Knox peanut butter cookies. Thank you, Shelly. It specifically said Knox on it. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.